Hey everyone, it's Andy with the Reverb Tone Report, and today we're checking out the new Death by Audio Space Bender. And this one really explores the relationship that modulation has with delay time, so let's check it out. Delay time has always been a crucial component in modulation pedals, although it has largely been behind the scenes. Well, the Space Bender brings those delay parameters out of the shadows and right to your fingertips to breathe new life into chorus, flanger, and vibrato sounds. The familiar speed and depth controls allow anything from slow, glassy modulation to dizzying ray gun effects. But these two knobs simultaneously adjust the delay time and feedback, allowing you to cross into full-on modulated delay territory. The helpful delay time rocker switch provides a large range from single-digit milliseconds all the way to dub-style repeats that you can fine-tune with the speed knob. Rather than an automatic sine wave, the envelope modulation can be triggered by your dynamics, giving you smooth transitions from frozen resonant flanger sounds to total pitch dives just by playing harder. Finally, the last switch intensifies any setting by increasing the resonance and feedback, and you have full control over these heightened sounds with an internal trim pod that goes from unity gain to extremely loud. Death by Audio has teamed up with Reverb for this limited edition white colorway but you can also find the standard edition in black right here on Reverb. For more details, click the link below. Let's start simple with a slow LFO and a short delay time, and I wanna show you the relationship that these two knobs have, the speed and depth, with the delay time and the feedback. They're all in one, so when you speed things up, you're automatically slowing down the delay, and you basically end up with a lot more movement and a lot more space all in one turn. Now let's really explore the delay time and extend the range with that top rocker switch. And if you want a bit more feedback, here's where the intensity switch comes into play. And going back to a super short delay, but still with a lot of intensity and depth, now we're in this sort of metallic flanger zone.
Let's take a minute and check out the envelope mode. Here, it doesn't automatically go up and down with that uh, waveform. It's really dependent on the input signal. So you could adjust the depth here, or what I like to do is just back off on the guitar's volume knob and really influence how much the uh, pitch is gonna drop when you hit it hard. And since this pedal is such a wet effect, I thought it would be a good idea to show you how this pedal sounds in a wet, dry stereo setup. So one amp has just a fuzz and one has fuzz and the modulation from the space bender. Well, there's your look at the Death by Audio Space Bender in the limited edition white or standard black, which you can find right here on Reverb. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.